Good morning. It's been a while. I apologize. I'm just like not that great at being on a filming schedule at the moment. I've just been so tired and I feel like I've said that every single video. But anyways, I'm here. That's what matters, right? I haven't done an empties. Let's go ahead and just do it now because I don't have a ton of stuff. So we're just going to do this super informal piece. I got this from TJ Maxx, just kidding, Marshalls on clearance and I really like it. I like how it's round in a world of all square things. So anyways, I went through Bath & Body Works. This is just um, apple picking. It smelled so good. Love Bath & Body Works soap. It's my favorite. This Ole, I really didn't like the smell of this. I wouldn't suggest it. I won't be repurchasing it, but it's body wash. I used it all. Did the trick. This is a non, like, you know I love this. Clean and clear, essentials, foaming, facial cleanser, perfect for taking makeup off. This, both of these are just like a routine. I always go through them. So totally clean. 10.0.6. Then I just went through some creatine from Women's Best. I use their BCAAs and I love it. So I just throw this in with it and then I'll drink it while I'm working out. And I can't say for sure it works, but I feel like when I was on this and then my L-glutamine, I don't know how you say that. I feel like I saw more definition. So I will probably purchase this again in the future. Maybe not from Women's Best, but probably. I really like that company and they usually have coupons. Um, I did not like, so I actually didn't go through this and I love Pixie. Actually, I'm going home soon because my mom said there is a Pixie PR package and I'm like usually obsessed with everything. This is, was just like a no-go for me. Um, unfortunately, this is the Lash Line ink and it's just my favorite Sharpie type. Um, liner and it just was super drying and it was hard to put on. I didn't go through this is brand new This is Abercrombie fierce perfume for women. So fierce cologne is like their staple The women's I just didn't match well with my body chemistry I just did not like it smells good and you smell it But when I put it on myself, I was like I can't do this So I'll probably just take this to school with me and give it to one of the kids Degree deodorant still sweat right through it. You guys know my issue with deodorants just don't work for me Um, I had to unfortunately get rid of one of my butterfly sculpts because my stupid ice dyes will not go away I just made a purchase though for a really fancy eye wash like a specific eyelid cleanser So never thought I'd be buying one of those but if it will help I'm gonna do it and then again, L'Oreal, um, the Extraordinary Clay, I go through these. I went through shampoo and conditioner. This is like a month and a half worth of empties. I actually didn't go through that much, which is kind of odd. Um, this I didn't go through. This is from Whole Foods, their 365 line, and the Herbal Mint Shampoo and Conditioner. I was thinking that would be good for me since I'm very sensitive when it comes to any type of skincare products. And um, no, it made my entire body break out. I don't do well. I'm itching now. We've been using Thai deodorant and I get super itchy when I use anything Tide. So that's also not helping. But yeah, this just like completely broke me out, which I have a very hard time, which is why I love my L'Oreal clay because I don't break out over that. So it's like one of my trusty, like you're affordable and I know I can wear you. Also, it's cold enough. I brought out my leggings from Victoria's Secret. They are my favorite and they are like double lined. So they're very, very warm. I'm sorry, like I'm literally just cutting my head off with this view, but it has been cold. It's been like 50s and 40 degrees out. So it's actually feeling like fall, which means I can bust out my sweaters and I'm not like super hot and I enjoy it. Now when winter comes, you will start seeing me complain probably about the snow. But for now, I am happy. Anthony doesn't know it yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to try to get him to stop by a plant shop on the way back home when I'm picking up my PR package. And then also we have um, a combined birthday dinner for him and his stepdad at his parents' house because his birthday is in a few weeks and his stepdad's birthday I think is next week. So anywho, I'll probably try to bring you guys along and update you as we go. Okay, see you very soon. back from I stopped at a place technically not the plant shop yet but I wanted to get this sign and I saw it a while ago and it was so cute it said get naked and it was on like a white background and like wooden frame I, I'm sure I'm not explaining it well enough but I think I was a month too late because it is gone and 
That makes me sad. I know they sell on Etsy though. They're just like really expensive to ship them. So I just have to do that. I just don't want to spend that much on like a sign. So I might just wait and see if Marshall's ever pops anything really cute up. Anyways, I think we'll go to Anthony and pick up a card. And I still want to go to the plant shop. So we'll see what happens. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. We have arrived. My belly hurts very bad. So hopefully we get food after this or something. Snake plants, what I want. We'll see what happens. I'm excited. We ended up getting two new babies, a snake plant, and then Anthony picked out a big palm, and it has, I think there's dust mites, is what he was saying, are on it. So if you have any tips on how to get rid of them, please leave them in the comments below. Now we're just on our way to my house, and then we still have to go to his house and do the birthday shenanigans. Just got the pixie back, so let's open it and see what is in it. This is adorable. I don't, I haven't looked inside yet, but it's like a little envelope. How cute is that? There is the cutest of packaging. Okay. From Pixie with love. I'm opening it upside down, aren't I? I don't know. Oh my goodness. What is this? Build your own shade using colors provided in the Pixie jars. Post a video. Film the empty Pixie jar with your signature shade and send it back to us using the Pred envelope. I'm so confused. I don't know, but look how many lip shades they sent. What? I am gonna have to play with some of these and of course save some of these for a giveaway for you guys. Oh, it looks like it's like a contest. So if you create like a shade and you send it in, they might create it someday if it's, I don't know. I'm not sure. It sounds really cool though. Okay, I'm excited. So I'm in my house again, um, only gonna be here for a few minutes. I'm just gonna show you real fast like what is left on my Poshmark, cause there is not much. <laughs> so I just have this dress and that's gonna be like a really nice prom type dress or homecoming by Bill of Cuff. It's so cute. I have a pair of leggings from Till You Collapse and then a really cute dress, maxi dress. Um, these are brand new. These are from Saks Fifth Avenue. They just like weren't the most comfortable for my feet. And then a pair of Sperry's that I literally only wore once. And then I guess a pair of earrings. Oh yeah, these ones. I don't think they're still in my sight. I'm not sure, I'll have to check. Everyone meet Archie. How old is he now? Seven months. He's a baby still. I think I've only shown him once on my Instagram and he was like really, really tiny then and now he's a big boy. He's not as fat as he looks, I promise. I just wanna point out, <laughs> Archie just took off because there's a little dog over there. <laughs> he went sprinting. So this is the after. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, a 
Good boy. A bad boy, but good boy for coming. Did you? What are you? You're gonna be in trouble. You're gonna be in so much trouble. <laughs> Just got back home. Gonna end the vlog here, but I wanted to show you the planters that we got today. This is a snake plant. Chester's already been hissing at it. And then this is the palm plant. It is actually, I don't know if you can tell, but like huge. So, anywho, mom also gave us some pans. They're made in the USA. I think they're actually called, what brand is it? Made, USA made? USA, USA pan. pan. Um, and they're very nice. We saw them actually at Crate and Barrel when we went shopping like a couple months ago. And they were like $40 a piece. And I think she got them for $4 each at this like big warehouse sale. So, I'm excited about that. Anywho, I'm gonna go and I will see you guys super soon. Bye.